Hey guys, I'm back with one of those videos in what is quickly becoming people's favorite series, my brother's Infinity M45. Well, I found that this guy doesn't watch my videos, so I'm having to go over a lot of things that I've already shot videos on, but that's cool, it's fine, it's fine. It gives us an opportunity to explain it a different way. Fan control module. How do you know when it's time to replace your fan control module? You know, this is going to be interesting because they don't always fail the same way. Sometimes it's surprising. Start the car, please. All right, so by looking at the AC compressor, I can tell that the AC is not turned on, whereby, or rather, I expect that both fans should be off. As you can see, this fan is running. This one is running too, with the AC off. And you can hear it accelerating. It's getting louder. Can you hear that? It's getting louder already. Turn the AC on, please. Turning the AC on, just turn the, clap, the clutch on. But these are still running at full speed. All right. So right now, and they're about to slow down again. When I go inside, and look at his temperature gauge. Thankfully, it looks okay, but I'm just worried because I could hear it running immediately. So uh, go ahead and please turn off the car, then just push it without the brake, right? Without your foot on the brake to the first position, the one that turns on the radio. Just turn that on. Just waiting. Nothing's happened so far is uh, then second position and AC off. AC off. So sometimes what usually happens is that when you turn on your, your accessories and turn into the second position, the fans start running immediately. Oh, yeah, there they go. There they go. See, these ones are running. And so that's the crazy thing is that the, my, far, my fans are accelerating a lot slower than you'd expect them to do whenever they fail. So, go ahead, turn it off. All the way off. So, what I told them is this. When in doubt, just change them out. Because, I mean, you don't want... Thankfully, these fans, the, the modules, fail, let's call it fail, uh, fail closed. In that they fail and keep running. The problem is that when they fail, they run all the time. That is a good thing. If they failed open, failed open circuit in that they failed and just did not run at all now that's a different problem but what usually happens is this because they're running all the time at high speed they end up wearing your fans so your fans end up getting louder because the bearings are worn and they're just old at some point your fans electrically will just die so that's a uh, that's a goofy thing about it so i told him for 50 bucks why not just change it let's see what happens all right, so you've seen the test. So right now we're gonna go ahead and replace the fan control module and see if things get better. All right, hey, you mind holding the camera for me? We'll do this real time. All right, so we already, we we're replacing the, the radiator today, so it's much, much easier. The first time we, we had a terrible fight trying to remove this big plug over here, but it's out. We did not remove the two plugs at the bottom. We only removed this big plug because it has all these harnesses that needed to come off. So I know that's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but we don't mind challenges around here. 10 millimeter. It's a screw. I'm not going to remove this one all the way. I'll leave it hanging there. Get the other one here. People who've been watching my channel for a while are probably familiar with the phrase, seeing with your hands just go and feel around and hopefully you get things right. 10 millimeters like it wouldn't be bad right now actually. Just look at it like this. This is what I'm trying to do. That's where the bolts go and the screws go here and here. And that big plug goes here and this one is for the main fan. This other one here, this one here is for the accessory fan, the AC fan or the secondary fan, however you want to call it. It's a little different. I rarely get help when I'm shooting videos, so if I'm a brother here, 
It's a godsend. I propose to him. I don't know. I propose this idea to him. I don't know if if he wants it or if you guys even care for it. I call it conversations eh, eh, with my brother. We talk. I, I notice we talk a lot. Uh, we talk about a lot of car stuff, um, more in an educational way, you know. So I feel like that is basically people who don't live and breathe cars. Those are the questions they have. We've talked a lot. We've talked about AC systems, how things work, why you, why your fan, run, your secondary fan runs whenever you're running your AC system, you know, because you're pulling. So it's a lot of educational material we cover. And I'm just thinking, maybe, maybe there might be something to share. So I can tell that this is an old, old style because it's got a black cover. I believe if you remove it, I took one apart and it looks so much like this, minus the black, but yeah yeah like here see the metal stuff so i'm not saying they're the same but neither can i confirm that they're different internally all i know is that for 50 bucks i'm not going to sit around risking and what's the worst thing that could happen if your fan keeps running all the time well you're not going to overheat so that's good but it's just that your car might be struggling to keep temperature the way it is and remember i showed you earlier that at first your temperature was so low until we had to rev it up so this is pretty cool. We can do this. Remember, they have to click. There you go. Sometimes the click is big and audible. Sometimes it's very attenuated, but still a click nevertheless. Here's the other one. Seeing with my hands, seeing with my hands. Once I have it in the ear, poke it out is the camera clear or do we it's need clear. to like switch to flashlight in there it's clear all right cool thanks i said i intend to do this real time so let's see what comes out of this Thankfully, this is not a new shroud, so the hole's already threaded, you know? Not like we had to do for the radiator, kind of forcing holes in. If you're sitting here thinking, well, when is the uh, video on the re radiator replacement going to come out? Unfortunately, never, or not, not anytime soon. We started recording today, but... It was such a hot day so the phone that we're using to record that right there it's an iphone it gave a warning saying hey you know it's too hot what did it do you remember what it said it's cooling down or something yeah, please let it cool down before starting the <laughs> start videos. and the video just stopped recording right yeah the phone just uh, locked itself oh. so yeah that sucks but we had all intentions to record the process and show you know showcase things all right big click nice just like that so what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and start the car you know what how about this let's take it to the second position again mm -hmm. and see if we'll see if it starts running just don't start it yet okay i can tell i can tell by the lights and stuff check it out it's not running yet that's crazy isn't it that's exactly what we're talking about and it's one of those things you really have to pay attention to your car go ahead and start it up ac off okay what are you thinking <laughs> Must have been that module. yeah way more quiet with the ac off that's what i was telling you there's really no reason for even the main fan by itself to run it has no reason to run right now. But we want to make sure that the module actually runs. It's off. Oh, okay. They're both off. But we want to make sure that the module actually works. So you know how we force the module to run? Turn the AC, AC on. on. Yeah, go ahead. Turn the AC on, please. Yeah. 
There you go. Both fans are spinning. There you go. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> Told you, man. You were trying to save forty dollars. This guy. This guy. He can't drive for six hours and refuse to. This is just incremental fee of L points, you know. So yeah, there you go. You did. You could turn the AC off if you want. I mean, either way, you're set. Watch what happens. Almost immediately. And then what happens is that when you start loading your engine, getting more um, heat into the cooling system, you're gonna rev it to 3,000 a few times. The other fan might start running. Might. Again. Hold. All right, that's good. Just hang on just a second. Let's see what happens here. It might or might not. It just depends on, you know, on the load. That, that's just, those are just a few revs, so that might not really have such a big impact on it. But, yeah. So, what happens next? Um, at this point, we could, well, with this, I guess, his set. Everything's good. You could throw this away if you wish. But what I usually do, I actually hold on to these. Because these are, they're not functioning the way they're designed to do, but they still work regardless. I usually use this because sometimes people buy aftermarket modules because they're, and they're not even cheaper. Sometimes they're just as expensive. So what happens is they buy aftermarket modules, but the aftermarket modules are fail open because some of them, they just never speed one, they might make your fans not turn on, or number two, they might not turn on at the right speed. So, so something to pay attention to. I'm gonna hold on to this, because this is better than no module. That's how I, I look at it, okay? Hey, that's it. Catch you guys later on another episode of my Car Talk with my brother. Conversations with my brother. We'll figure this out. <laughs>